Hello parents, this is um, the video for sixth grade world geography and mapping. So if you are taking this or if interested in my class, um, you are in the right place. Again, um, thank you for taking a moment just to listen. Many of you probably have had me had me for fifth grade world history, the ancient civilization. So you may already know my style a little bit. But for those new families, just to give you a little bit about my class, this is going to be a very interactive class. I am all about reaching and trying my best to accommodate different learning styles. And so it is um, going to be interactive and fun, hands-on, tactile, STEM type projects with mapping and geography not just a lot of reading and textbook things like that so i'm gonna um go through and share my screen for my text there will be a small materials fee for some of our projects and things that we do in class i'm not sure fully what that will be there shouldn't be a whole lot of printing for this class as there was for my fifth grade class because i'm not creating a full-fledged a curriculum like I did for that class. But I'm gonna share my screen so that you can see what curriculum is needed for each of those, um, uh, for, for the class. And what you'll notice in the curriculum list is that there's three books that, that I had that I wanted the students to have. And there's a reason for that. So let me go through it. So on Amazon, I know that you can, look for much of this curriculum in other places but i implore you to go to amazon because it is way cheaper my goal was not to have us spending hundreds of dollars on curriculum i know many of our kids are in different classes i'm in the same boat as you and so as we go through um these classes i wanted just to make sure that it was affordable for every family so please go to amazon to get your curriculum because it'll be way cheaper than anywhere else so right here, No Geography World Atlas, um, grades four through nine. This curriculum right here is gonna allow us, this atlas is gonna allow us to have access to our maps and have access to the statistics about these different regions that we're gonna go through in geography we're gonna you know hit the different continents we're gonna go from travel on a little road trip from well sometimes by boat right that's why i like to make it fun through the different continents and so this atlas will allow us the ability to have the stats and things like that on it next i have um a more updated version another atlas and i really really wanted to do this atlas because and it's only seven dollars and fifty cents but the reason why i wanted to have this atlas was because it is 20 a 2020 version and it has statistics on like cell phone usage and things that are very modernized for the kids so i felt like this was an atlas that would be used in my class but something that they could use even beyond and so i really wanted to be able to couple these two atlases together to be able to utilize with our um, world geography assignment book. And that will be what I show you next, I believe. Yes, okay. And I specifically chose the seventh and eighth grade version of this book because I believe that it will give a little bit more challenge to the sixth graders. Um, and I believe that the younger version of it was not up to what I, my standards of what I wanted, okay? And so in this book will be the crux of, in addition to reading assignments and different things that I bring in from outside sources, this book will be where many homework assignments come from, things that we may work on in class, and so they will use, based on the questions and things in this book, then they will use their atlas to help them answer the questions and go through our studies of the different types of geography. We'll go through political, population, um, the different cities in the different hemispheres, physical features, and that is where we will be able to do some very hands-on projects to kind of recreate maps and geography of the different parts of the world, okay? and again my class is big on discussion questions 
there won't be a whole lot of assignments turned in. There will be some testing and projects that will be turned in from the sixth graders, but they, I do not have things that are required on a daily basis, but there will be homework and reading assignments that will be done at home. Now I'm going to um, pin my example screen just for a second because I want to show you um, the books just right here in person. And I cannot find my document screen right now. We just moved. So, um, but I wanted you to be able to see a little bit of the inside of my book. So you see their assignments, reading, questions that they'll have to answer, and the atlas will be heavily used in this curriculum. Here is um, the, the atlas, the student atlas. So this is a new edition again. So here you have the different continents breaking down the different population, transportation, um, life expectancies that are very more up to date than um, some of the other atlases, right? So this is why I wanted to use it. It's new, it's very interactive, colorful, which I know kids like these days. And then here is the other um, atlas that we'll be using. So again, it's going through the different cities, the different continents, colorful, very interactive, and it'll give us a basis for what we'll do reading in class and where our discussions will be, okay? So that is just a little brief overview of that. So let me pin this video. Um, okay, there we go. Okay, so again, in my class, very interactive. We're going to do reading assignments and go through the atlas and really just explore the different continents, some of the cultures and some of, um, but more so the landforms we'll do mapping, we'll be having to replicate maps. Those are the assignments. But again, I'm not heavy on having a lot of things turned in. We'll be focusing on a lot of cl class participation. It's big in my class, discussion all that stuff, hands-on STEM projects and things like that. So won't shouldn't have too heavy of a material speed outside of just what will be used for projects and stuff like that, but basic supplies. And so if you have any questions, again, for this class, you can email me at, at agilbert at extendhomeschool.com, agilbert at extendhomeschool.com. For any questions you may have on my class, or want to understand something more. But again, if you are going to prepare to be in my class, I suggest you go ahead and get books and things from Amazon. And um, it'll be way more affordable. I think no more than 30 something dollars for all three of these books, maybe close to 40, but that's three books that you get for that price. So again, thank you for your interest in my class and I look forward to having you in.